Hello and welcome back. It's Tuesday, so it's Torque Drift Tuesday here on the channel. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So today we're going to be taking the Z out. It is full Torque Drift Tuesday. It's all about tandems, competition, and just driving. So we're going to be hopping in, doing as many tandem battles as we can here for today. Less talking, more sliding. So let's get to it and see what we got going on. We got Long Beach, and we're going to try and do the Long Beach full track and see if we can't get some sponsor crates. So the Z has a new look. If you guys have caught it in some online battles, you guys all have known about it. The Z is now rocking those three spoke Advan wheels. It's now black and gold. So, we're going to be chasing down Matfield's Pro Car. I don't know if the Z will be able to keep up. Oh, yeah, it will. All right, we're good. Oh, we should probably stay in third. As I say, not be able to keep up. We lose him in this section, but we will try and gain him back. That gold roof is definitely uh, very bright. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Nobody saw that run. We're going to try that. We're going to stay in third. Because apparently third gear is the uh, gear I need to be in on the Z. Kind of an orthodox entry, but now we're going to have to go into fourth. I'm going to cut this angle a little bit just to catch up. And gain some proximity. That's going to be a quick downshift into third. I was not paying attention on what the actual score we needed was. I believe it was 20,000, which I believe we have already gotten that. I feel like 20,000 is a fairly easy challenge. As I say that, we go head first into the wall. But we did not lose our drift, so we can still finish the line. So I still think we'll get the challenge completed, which is definitely a good thing because we uh, kind of uh, <clears throat> ripped into the wall. So we did get the challenge. It was only 20. So quick, simple challenge to do. So now let's go get some more tandems with some randoms here for today's episode. Let's see where we can actually run at. Looks like we have English Town and Go Cards. We got Ebazu West. We have the slab. So we'll go to go-karts first. Do you like the go-kart track? It's kind of a love-hate relationship. So, like I said, a bunch of you guys probably caught this car in this current condition and livery setup either on the live stream and or in random battles that I've been playing. So hopefully we can find some battles today and not have any issues finding some stuff to do. We're going against the E46. Thousand Horse by E46. I think third gear is going to be the gear for the Z on this track. As we rip it into the Jersey Barriers. Uh, so we kind of ripped it into the wall. We're going to get a rematch though. So, first uh, wall hit out of the way for this course. Gotta remember, not enter as hard as I did, or enter sooner. Okay, that was kind of a fall out of drift. Like I said, this is a love-hate relationship track. It's a very small course, very tight, and uh, not a very high scoring course as you can see. It's a very low scoring course. I believe 9,000 is pretty high for me. And then this man comes in with 18. So, we're definitely going to uh, probably take the loss on this, but we're going to follow this dude's entry and see how he runs it. Okay. Oh, run it really wide. Okay, now I see. Now I see the run we need to run. Uh-huh, so that's what we need to do. So we got a way better chase, so we're gonna try that again. So we need to run wider. Kind of figured that was gonna happen. It's getting a little too cocky in this course. 
but we still took the win just barely we took the win with our chase so we're gonna try and give this guy another run probably not gonna take it and that's a no so we're gonna go to hop to another course because this course is a little slow for me today and I think we're gonna hit up Ebizu West formula drift circuit see what we can do at Ebizu West circuit if you guys are still enjoying the torque drift Tuesdays let me know down in the comment section down below thousand horsepower Viper let's go I think we can do this just gotta remember my line and not go uh, too hard and too fast kick in the fourth throw it in it was a little bit wider than I wanted to because we kind of missed that one clip but we're still managing to get the other clips oh that was a hard pull in we managed to pull that back into the correct clipping point so 41,000 to a 52,000 so we got a little bit of ground to make up in our chase so hopefully we'll be able to make that ground up we will definitely find out That was a very long and I don't know how he was pulling away from me on that e-brake drag. At least some of you guys saw those rear wheels were locked and he was just pulling away from me. I don't know how that is physically possible, but it worked. Because I'm not sure what he did. Unless maybe I was just being deceived and I saw him dragging that e-brake. Okay, no, his wheels were spinning. Alright. And then he did a hard clutch kick flick. So we did take the loss on that one. So we're going to try and find another battle here and try and redeem ourselves. Bit of a rough day here on the Torque Drift. So now we're going against a 1,000 horsepower 180. Oh, I clutch kicked way too early. I tried to do that clutch kick to kick it around on that section. But it was a little bit too early. But we still managed to pull a decent lead. Not in the 50s, but another 42. So we're waiting for his lead run, and it's a 37-0-37. So we have a bit of a lead. But now I kind of figured out how to actually run that run it full power and then clutch kick it in to kick it around that corner so clutch kick button definitely easier to get to on a controller I totally forgot we can look around it's rocking those spider wheels and then fourth oh that dude went hard reverse entry I was I was not expecting that Was not expecting the reverse entry, but well done on that run. And I was not expecting that reverse entry, so we did take the loss. We're going to do one more battle here for today's episode. We're going to go to the slab, of course, that I do know and love. And usually can get pretty good on the lead. Yo, looks like we're going against Kra in a 600 horsepower E46. I feel like it's a bit of a power difference here by a little bit. I'm not sure if this man is just bouncing out or if he's uh, maybe taking a screenshot, but I remember the days when I was at huge uphill battles with new cars. That looks like a fairly new car. So we can try and get a smooth lead. Hard flick. Pull it back in. Front bumper right on the jersey barriers. Pull it out nice and wide. Get a little more close call there. 
pull it back in. A little bit of an e-brake grab there. And a very nice, solid, over 100,000 point run on reverse slap. 100,000 to 54. So definitely a bit of a power difference with the E46 versus my Z. So I think I might be uh, building some new cars here in the next episodes. So what car do you guys want to see built? And he just said bye. Okay. So we're going to try and get one actual tandem run here on the slab. Fortunately, he saw that and said, I'm not even going to be able to get there. Been there. Definitely uh, uphill battles for sure sometimes. Rad Dan Supra. Uh, this should be a good battle. iPhone user S14 ASF. waiting for the timer to run down so we can actually throw down on the slab definitely comfortable with how Z is I think the Z is gonna sit where it's at we're gonna build some more cars here in next episodes hard flick Oof! I thought I was gonna be way too wide on that not as close on that front as it was last run, but the Z is very well suited for this track. Ah, uh, we missed the last one. We missed the last one, so we're not going to be up as high as we were last time. Just shy of 100K. 99, 914. So just shy, 61 for S14. So we're going to run the chase, that Boost Brigade, Red Dan Supra. Oh, just a little, uh, just a little tap on the bumper. Oh, man. I got led a little bit too close. Oh, you stalled it. That's what happened. Otherwise, that probably would have been a very solid run if you did not all it through that hairpin section managed to throw some serious door towards the end so I think that'll be the last run here for today's episode make sure you guys follow me on all social media if you're not subscribed to the channel I would appreciate all support because you want to help support the channel and what I do on the channel make sure you tap that like button and subscribe maybe hit the bell notifications so you can be part of the notification gang we did take the win so that'll do it so as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm out of tires too, so we gotta buy those. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.